Start the clock. Ah, good evening, folks. Dr. Freedom here with you. Time for some really, really big Dr. Who news. A lot of stuff happened today down on Hill Street in Cardiff. And a lot of people may remember this location because they're, they were using the area around what was used for the uh, shot where Roseburg, all the way back at the beginning of the series, um, had Capaldi sporting a brand new outfit. And it was just amazing stuff to look at. Plus, my friend Stephen Price got to go down there, got his you know, picture of Capaldi, Jenna, and all that. He, you know, he had a lovely time. I'm glad he did. I really wish I could have been there with him, but, you know, Geographic location does not allow me to do that. But at least I can share, we all, he took some uh, exclusive photos for us and he gave me permission to use. So, sorry about that, my chair's a little squeaky. Oh, let me say that again. He uh, took some photos that he gave me exclusive permission to use on this channel. And so we're going to go take a quick look at them. Then we're going to run through tonight's articles, which mostly cover the filming that happened today. And it's just some really exciting stuff. Okay, let's start with, all right, let's go for it. Let's start, sorry about that. Let's start with this one right here. All this look a little familiar? I just told you why. Remember the shop? There it is, basically. Okay. Look at the jacket. My gosh, that is such an awesome new thing. Plus, notice the fluorescent pudding brain from Flatline is back. Rigsy, we're going to talk a little bit more about him in a bit. Uh, kind of weird seeing his character reappear. And, of course, there's Jenna on set. Lovely shot here. Um, seems to be holding some kind of map or something like that. I'm not sure what the deal is. But it is an intriguing-looking prop. And you see that he's kind of holding in there, kind of studying this photo as well. Okay, let's move on. This was a beautiful shot right here. I just love this particular face Capaldi's making with uh, Jenna Coleman. Uh, he did really great work on these. These are very, very high res. Oh, man, it's incredible stuff. Okay, once again, there's Capaldi. Look at that coat. That coat is just beyond awesome. It has a diehard John Pertwee feel to it. And that's what I'm loving about it as well. It, plus, it just really brings out the suit very well. It's very unique. Another great shot here, face shot of Capaldi. And I don't know what they're all looking up at, but it apparently is not good. Another shot here. Once again, note the map. Let's zoom in real quick and see if we can get a look at it. Um, hmm, it almost looks like one of the old hex boards we used to play D&D &D tabletop on, man, for maps. All right. Yeah. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Where was I going? Okay. Wow. <laughs> no, no. So, interesting stuff. Wow, I like that hat right there. Look at that. See, how I can zoom in on that hat. Um, I wonder who that is. But, okay. Um, not once again, nice, interesting shot. And there, once again, the map's in play. Okay. This is uh, another variation of the shot we had before. And, of course, he managed to get the clapperboard. Nice job. You know, and apparently our director for Episode 10 right here, Justin Malotnikoff, um, we all just, we just found out also this is being written by Sarah Dollard, and we're going to talk about her more in a minute. Also, the fact that this is Episode 10. They're, so apparently they're flipping order again a bit. So we're going into Block 5, but they're starting with Episode 10. This is not unusual. They started with Episode 2 when they went into Block 1. So, nice stuff here. Oh, that is just so, that's so awesome. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, setting up the cameras. I wonder. All right, see, I love, I love the, you know, detail he went in on with these photos. Very, very good resolution here. All right, let's get a good look at that. All right. All right. So, yeah, once again, it's a hex board. Ah, I can probably read that guy's ID right there. Okay, let's keep going. I could, of course, Capaldi taking another look at the map. Once again, looking up and whatever it is, it's not good. Okay, 
You can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. Oh, sorry. Made me fade into a Bee Gees moment there. Uh, once again, another beautiful shot. Capaldi walk along outside the sh uh, the area here. Um, so I love this one here. Beautiful, beautiful work. Cute look on Jenna's face. Very concerned look on Riggsy there. <laughs> another beautiful shot of Capaldi. You know, nice facial shot. Um, I wonder who that is standing by. Well, well. And once again, I love this coat. This coat is just beyond awesome. This, this is a beautiful variant of his costume for this season. And another, this is a beautiful facial shot of Jenna. Um, I just love that look on her face like, hmm, okay. Of course, Jenna, you know, Clara and Riggsy here. Another shot of uh, Capaldi taking a little stroll. Like I said, I, I just love the resolution he went in with these because I can actually zoom in and out on these. Beautiful work by Stephen Price. And once again, we're back to them looking at the map. And, hmm, I wonder what this is here. Let's take a quick look. You know, nothing too revealing, so don't worry about being spoiled. I don't see... I just see a couple of small things written down here. Maybe I'll have to take a closer look at this later, see if I can actually make out what that writing is. Check out this dude. These guys are ticking me off. Okay, there we go. Look, almost looks like Michael Chiklis when he's really mad. All right. And, of course, we end with this beautiful shot, this beautiful moment here. Capaldi and Coleman, wonderful stuff. Like I said, he did a really, really excellent job on these photos. I cannot thank him enough for allowing me to use these. You know, Stephen Price, you are just one awesome Welshman, man. Okay, but let's get back to the nitty gritty. Let's get to some more. Let's get to the articles that surround all this. So, if you want to go look for some filming pics of your own, like I said, go to go to Twitter, type in hashtag DWSR for Doctor Who set reports. There's lots of different people out there who've been taking them. Um, if you want, also, we're going to take a look at a few other places where you can get them. Matter of fact, I'll have links below in the description box to this one coming up. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right. Sorry, I'm on the wrong thing. I'm on the Dr. Freedom page. Duh. I was just on there checking some stuff. Okay. This is the Flickr page set up by a fellow named Secret Agent 006. And if you want, you can flick through these. He's also got some really awesome photos here if you want to take a look at them. Um, he's also got some great shots. Uh, there's quite a few of them here, so I'm just going to leave them for you to look at. Hmm. Who's that guy? Well, we all know who that is. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Wales Online, Doctor Who Films, New Scenes in Cardiff's Main Shopping Street, and here's how the day unfolded. Um, they got some shots here and here and here. Um, and this is why I can't figure out why this is going on on Twitter unless there's been an outbreak of stealing photos again. But once again, this is a nice look at the coat. Very beautiful stuff. Um. Filming a scene up here inside the building. If you want to, if you want these photos, like I said, link will be below the description box to take you there. And also, this is how events unfolded. You'll set to a timeline. I love that. Here's Capaldi doing autographs for folks. Taking and there's a Polaroid with a fan. Once again, beautiful shot of the coat. You see, I don't know why people are watermarking stuff when you can just go to another person's Twitter feed and just get the same damn photo in another angle. Uh, but So if you want to go take a look at this article, boom, it's right here. Lots of good shots for you if you want to you can collect pics from the set or you want to read how it was set up today. It was a very interesting shoot. Okay, this one was very nice. Uh, Peter Capaldi sends fan the best birthday greeting ever. He took time out of filming Series 9 to record a birthday message for a fan. Um, Wales Online, Dave Prince was in Carter today following the cast and crew of Doctor Who as they filmed new scenes for Series 9. And because it was his pal's birthday, he thought he'd shout across to the Doctor himself. See if he recorded a special birthday greeting for his pal, Paige Waitley. -Wait David from Ponty Prince said Peter Capaldi was signing autographs in between takes. So I asked him if he could say something for Paige. I said to him, could you please say happy birthday, Paige? And that's exactly what he did. Really nice fella. Capaldi and co-star General, blah, blah, blah. We're shooting in Hayes, Hayes today, Wednesday, along with Joy V. and Wade, who's making a return as Riggsy. And shooting also took place in Morgan Arcade in Baker's Row. This is all around Hill Street, okay? So really good stuff. 
Well, okay, Jenna Coleman shoots scenes with Doctor Who leading man Peter Capaldi in Cardiff after cozying up to the Prince Harry at the polo. Well, Micah, why are they still on this? <sighs> My goodness gracious. So nice shots of Jenna here. Some cute stuff between the two. So if you want all these photos, also, if you, if they have a fashion finder here. Showing her the, the type of uh, jumper and all that she's wearing. If you're interested in uh, tracking it down, you know, maybe do some cosplay if you want. It, it would look easy, but the problem is it wouldn't look good on me. But okay. And okay, here we go. Jovian Wade returns. Or Jovian. Or is, it, uh, it's, uh, is it Jovian? Or is it Jovian? Or is it Jovian? Ah. Returns as Riggsy in a new series the episode written by Sarah Dollard. And, of course, if you want to see a video interview with Sarah Dollard, it's not that long. Um, she, yeah, we're going to, the reason I have, also see the return of uh, Joy Ben Wade as Riggsy, the younger graffiti artist who helped save the world flatline, who'll be reunited with the Doctor and Clara in a new adventure, and how and why he finds himself mixed up with the time-traveling heroes is currently under wraps. Okay. But the reason why I'm holding off on that is because, for lastly for today, this one was a bit better. I was, you know, I, I was like, well, I was kind of torn because you can get to this video through that previous page. But this one right here, okay. The BBC announced that Sarah Dollar has written episode 10 of the forthcoming series of Doctor Who. The episode has just started filming and will be directed by, of course, Justin Malotnikoff. And we'll see the return of Joyvin Wade as Riggsy. Now, Dollar has written episodes of The Game, Being Human, and Neighbors, and she was also a script editor on episodes of Primeval and Merlin. And if you want, you can just click on this right here. It's only 43 seconds long. Or like I said, you can get to it here as well if you go down here and click on here, watch an interview. Except I think theirs is a bit more high risk. I don't know. A little bit more high risk. I'm not sure. But it was nice to see him back. I, I was intrigued by his character as Capaldi, or as Capaldi's doctor referred to him, the fluorescent pudding brain. Okay. So once again... Great filming going on. Once again, I, can, I cannot thank my friend Stephen Price enough for you know, letting me use those photos. And, you know, who knows what's coming in the future. I'll keep my eyes peeled and see you know, what other filming locations may pop up. As um, far as I know, I think they're back in the studio, but I'll, you know, like I said, I'll let you know soon, I'm sure. Sorry, is this, oh, man, I'm just a little bit out of it today. Um, I don't script these things if it's not obvious. I always fly from the, you all know, shoot from the hip on these. Because other shows, I don't know. You know if, if you want to script it and I sit there and act fake, that's up to you. There's other scripted shows that are very well done, but there's a lot of them out there right now where they sit there and talk to the camera like this, and they act, they kind of look at you into the camera like you're an utter moron. And they say, oh, God, it shows like that that drives me bananas. Uh, I like to treat everybody equally here. So that's just me. But okay. Uh, once again, Omega Files this weekend will be Avengers versus Avengers 2. We're going to sit down talk about each movie, see if anyone favored one or the other. Maybe talk about, you know, how characters have grown over the last couple of movies. Compare Ultron to Loki. You know, whatever comes up, we'll have a blast with it. Also, um, following week, we're going to be doing the Game of Thrones. Where we're going to sit down and talk about the Series 5, the Series 5 finale, <laughs> how that ended up. What happened there? Things along that line. And also more stuff to come in the future, guys. So, But until then, I'm getting out of here. I hope you enjoyed the photos. And take care. Have a good one.